I am calling for an Eclipse rebuff. These guys have been nerfed into the ground way too hard and they are by far one of the worst units in the game. If any of you have ever wondered why you almost never see Eclipsers in any game except maybe a rare chance in 2v2, I'm about to show you why. Now, I have four different decks set up that I will be using to see which one allows me to do the best Eclipser setup. I guarantee none of these decks would be the right way to set up using the Eclipser, but I don't know what the right way is because I don't use the Eclipser because what you get in terms of its price is terrible. And I'm going to be demonstrating that here. First things first, Eclipsers are extremely draining on an early game economy. Right away, I am forced to open up with either an Eclipser or a Spear 10. And if I had to choose, I am choosing the Spear 10. And the reason for that is an early Eclipser is not going to perform as well as an early Spear 10. So let's just think about this. We are essentially paying a lot more gold and 100 mana to get a ranged unit that does the same number of damage to light as the Archidon. I'm sure you guys already knew this, but for those of you that did not, Eclipsers and Archidons both do the same damage to light. A basically upgraded flying archer can do the same damage to light units. And not to mention that when you decide to use Eclipse this early game, you were leaving your economy vulnerable. That's why I did the early Spear 10 star. I don't trust going for an early wing. Now, the Archidon here massively outclasses the Eclipser. In fact, there's really no point in me trying to approach, but I'm gonna do it anyway because we can force him off the tower, never mind to get to the coil up. So, and that hits me. How unfortunate. So you would think, well, go for an Eclipser here to force the Archer away, right? I can guarantee you right now that Eclipser is not going to do well. Until this wing comes out, this Archidon can harass me for as long as he wants. And using Eclipsers forces you to be a lot more, you know, you have to pay more attention to managing your economy because if you don't keep up with your economy next thing you know you're gonna find yourself with a whole lot of gold and no mana Defend. Defend. and here's another problem with this being stick war 3 user control exists the only way i can protect this wing is by shoving my spear to him in his face it's either I do that or I use the projectile shield. And it's really annoying that I have to press to fin twice to get my units to back up. All right, so one thing that I do want to mention, I think it's extremely imperative that if you decide to use Eclipsers, you just have to bring the projectile shield. Because as I was saying earlier before I kind of got caught up in the fight, uh, using control allows you to really abuse Eclipsers, especially by generals like Kaichu, who basically just, it serves to be the perfect anti-Eclipser. I mean, look at this. We're still being heavily harassed by a single Archidon that we can't hit with the wings. And Glacial Fletching already cripples their speed even more. So let's just think about this for a minute. Looking at the Stick War 3... Oh, he has Healing Ward. Looking at the Stick Empire's Eclipser, that is far better than the Stick War 3 version. They are fast. They do a lot more damage to light units than Archidons. In fact, they did more damage in general than Archidons. Their damage was, I think, was what? Oh, uh, speak of the devil, yes, Kaichu. Kaichu is an insane anti-Eclipser that is almost uncounterable. 
because you would think, well, why not select a wing and try to fight Kaichu away? You think these 15 damage wings are going to do anything to Kaichu? It's not going to happen. So when you're using wings, you're, you're pretty much forced to pay a lot more attention to them. And even my tactic of throwing a Spiritan in the space isn't working because the Spiritan's not going to do enough damage to kill the wing, or excuse me, to kill Kaichu. And as you can see, it's an all around disaster. I mean, look at this. Again, Archidons do the same amount of damage to light as the Eclipsers do. Yeah, Archidons are far better in every single aspect, being cheaper, significantly faster, and not as hampering on your economy if you choose to build them. Like, my economy is not that strong. It's been incredibly crippled by the fact that we have a lot of mana in this setup. I have 950 gold. The only thing I can buy right now is like one spear tin. I can't go for anything else. All right, so you saw how bad that was. But maybe it's, maybe it's because I didn't have Kaichu for myself to pressure his Archidons right back. So I switched things up. I bring in Kaichu. I switched out Glacial for Vault. And I have Magi Kill. I have Vault because since we're using a Eclipser setup, which, are, which is much more expensive, maybe we need the Vault of Prudence to help us out. And I bring in Magi Kill just so I don't have only Spiritons to rely on for DPS and things like that. So... Maybe this is the moment where I can make the Eclipser shine. But I can tell you right now, it's not going to work out. Now, given that Stick War 3 has a deck building system, someone can bring something that immediately counters what you're trying to go for. And this is going to be a clear example of that. What we decided to do was to use the exact same deck but I use Eclipsers and he uses Archidons. This is to prove that no matter what setup you may try to go for to make the Eclipser efficient, it's going to fail. Well, not, not indefinitely. It's possible to win with the Eclipser. It's possible to win with anything. But this is purely to show that when it comes to Eclipsers against Archidons, Archidons massively outclass them. And I really don't think it should be like that. So once again, here I am going for the Spiritan opening because that wing is not going to be easy to get out. And I did not go for the wing start because it can be easily outclassed by a double archer start. Given that he has vault, he can do a double archer start. Just he can do a double archer start. And basically that wing has to retreat. He can no longer con contest anymore. So right now, I'm being forced to start early game with Spear Tents until I get a good enough economy to set up for the first Eclipser. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for an early Kaichu because I find her to be way more valuable than an Eclipser. Scratch that, I'm going to have to get another Spear Tent because we are too low on health right now. This is, this is actually a good another good time to discuss this. Archidons do 10 damage to heavy, wings do only 12 damage to heavy. Something that's far more expensive and even costs mana. Something that's far more expensive than an Archidon and even costs mana only does two more damage to heavy than archers. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Wings and Stick Empires did 13 damage to heavy, Archidons only did 9. I think that's a lot more fair given that the Eclipser is far more expensive than the Archidon. It's supposed to be a more powerful mobile flying archer. In this case, it's a lot more expensive, it's a lot slower, and even more inefficient given that the damage difference between these two is only by a two damage to heavy units. And I'm being forced to go more spirit and heavy in this because he is massing up a lot of Archidons. Now I have Kaichu now, so since he pressured my wings like this, maybe I can pressure his Archidons with Kaichu and give him a hard time. Well, it's not going to be as effective as him having Kaichu pressuring my wings, 
And the reason for this is... Kaichu is bad. Kaichu is dangerous against any range unit type, whether it be deads, uh, wings, anything. But the difference is, if you have Kaichu harassing your Archidons, at the very least, you can select a Spiritin and try to get it to absorb hits. You can somewhat tank for it. You can't tank with an, you can't tank for an Eclipse with a Spiritin unless you get in the ranged unit's face. And, you know, you can probably argue that the same thing would apply for uh, Spears protecting Archidons, but I really don't think that's the case. You can put a Spears in front of your Archidons and protect the Archer from far away. You can't do you can't do that with the uh, Spears trying to protect Wings. Now, I do think this is an overextend, but he's playing smart and he's using his Spears to block off my shots. See? The Spiritin's in front of his archers. He can actually protect them somewhat. I can't do that when it comes to trying to protect my wings with Spiritin's. It really just doesn't work out that well. I have to get in a ranged unit's face just for this, like watch this, watch. Look how much he can just disrespect me. The only way I can protect my wings is if I put the Spiritin in Kaichu's face and it really just doesn't work out that well. Damn, I should be microing these tanks, by the way. Losing them is not a good idea. Look at this. Look how he's still able to just G-Kite on me. I have, again, I have to get in Kaichu's face for this to work. All right, so here we are at this point in the game. Look at this, I now have to go back and manage my economy. I'm struggling on mana now. This is an extremely mana heavy build, and to be fair, I did just queue a, I did just queue a 400 mana Magi kill, which may not have been the best option given that I'm struggling on tanks right now. But I do have another Spiritin on the way, so I'm not particularly worried. So let's look at the course of where we are right now. I have four Eclipsers. If it weren't for Kaichu, I would have more to be fair. But I think you can still get way more in Archers. And again, look, here I am trying to use Kaichu to pressure his Archidons again. He has a much easier time protecting his Archidons with the Spiritin compared to me trying to use my Spiritin to protect my wings. So this is where I have to bring in the projectile shield, which I think is a requirement if you decide to use Eclipsers. Look at this. Look how many wings they just sniped. And my back was turned for two seconds. And what did the wings do? Not much. In fact, I really think that Kaichu was the main reason why we wore his tanks down. Only 12 damage to heavy is just not good for an Eclipser. That's terrible, at least comparing it to how much damage archers can do to heavy, which is 10. And given that you can mass more archonauts than you can wings, the overall damage output is going to always favor the archers because of the fact you can get more of them. Now you can say the same for stick empires, but again, we're comparing 9 damage to heavy in stick empires from the archer to 13 damage to heavy from an eclipser. So even though you can mass more Archidons, Wings will still do a better job against heavy units in that game. Not in this case. So here I am trying to go in. Oh, his units are not currently present, but if we were to look at his Archer count right now, look at that. Look how many more Archidons he has compared to me. He has the advantage in the Spiritin count. He has way more arches than me. The DPS output is going to favor him a lot more, especially considering he's got three Merricks. So I have to garrison. I really have no choice here. Like, this may look even, this may look like it's in my favor, but trust me when I say it's not. I'm having to go behind my statue to use that to protect my wings. And even still, he can use Kaichu to attempt to shoot after the wings. And my only method of protecting them, again, besides the projectile shield, is to use a Spiritin, putting the Spiritin in uh, Kaichu's face. And again, just look at this overall damage output. Look how much my Spiritins are being outclassed. And look how little my wings are doing in terms of damaging his tanks. 
it's almost not even a contest right now. Well, let me try the let me try the kaiju trick again. Watch it not work. He can use the spirit to protect. You guys seeing this? Look how easily he can protect his Archidons compared to if it was me trying to protect my wings. It's the... It's unparalleled right now, the comparison. He can do it. He can protect his units way better than I can mine. And guess what? We had to fall back. These wings are dead because Archidons are faster than them. Like, I understand a damage decrease on the wings back in the early alpha days because they were kind of cracked. But I don't understand the movement speed decrease. Why make the wings slower when they're supposed to be fast? Archidons can chase down wings and kite them down pretty freaking easily. And here we are, we're, we're, we're essentially eco drain. We can't do anything. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure his Vault of Prudence Gold is building because he has not suffered as much loss compared to me. When he loses an archer, it doesn't hurt him that much. But when you lose an eclipser, it hurts you really bad. It really does hurt bad. That's 400 gold and 100 mana that you're forced to replace. And that can become really hammering later on when you fall into too much pressure and then you're forced to garrison. You're screwed pretty much. I wasn't able to get a whole lot of wings here. And even still, they just perform really bad. Like, look at this. Why do they only do 15 damage to light? It should be a lot more than that. Or maybe just lower the Archonaut's damage to light. And there's Kaitu again. And let, uh, let, let me try the Spiritin trick. Trying to protect with the Spiritin. Doesn't work. He has a magic kill. He can stop my spirit and cheese easily. So yeah, this is oh my spirit team was actually with the shield running into the base. So yeah, I'm not really gonna keep going further. This is really just to show how awful the eclipser is. It really just is it's just terrible compared to the Archonon. That's why I am calling for an Eclipse or buff. I really do think that needs to happen sooner than later. But yeah, that's all for this video.